Dr. Pankanya is my name. People know me as Dr. P. Being a kidney doctor that makes P kidneys, uh, it goes very well. Moved to USA some 25 years ago after finishing medical school from India. Um, I always wanted to be a kidney specialist. I saw my uncle being on dialysis, being treated there, used to sit down next to him. So I could feel it personally as to how and what goes on when somebody has a kidney failure. And when I came to USA and studied, to my surprise, in spite of kidney disease being so prevalent or so common, people weren't much aware of it. People knew about breast cancer, people knew about heart disease. Nobody, if you ask them, do you ever ask your doctor if you have a kidney disease, they will say no, they will ask for diabetes but not kidney disease. So it kind of struck me. As a chief resident, I had option to be cardiologist, gastroenterologist, but my passion was for kidney. Unfortunately, I got to train with some of the great at Henry Ford Hospital, a very powerful academic institute. I taught for two years at Michigan State, around two years before I moved to Port Charlotte. And uh, this practice with Dr. Kaway is like a, uh, gift from the above, uh, the whole nine yard that a nephrologist will want, good general nephrology practice, good reputation in the town, and in addition the research, the things that brings new treatment for our patient population, and we were able to give them those options of treatment, and fortunately we were very careful as to what kind of research we pick. With that, we have quite a few medications that actually made it to the market and now we are able to use it to treat our patients. Generally speaking, out of probably 100 medications get researched, probably one makes it to the market, if not uh, less than that. So uh, that is my life story. I enjoy taking care of my patient because I can see my uncle going through dialysis. And with that, my ultimate goal remains, I always tell my patient, I don't want to cure anything, to treat anything for you. I want to prevent so I don't have to treat it. So my emphasis is always on preventing the progression if you already have a kidney disease and if I am in the hospital taking care of them to make sure we can recover their kidney function and also educate them about their own disease coming from education teaching background. I believe that if my patients are educated about their disease, they will more inclined, they will be more inclined to follow my recommendations, especially for a condition like kidney disease where you generally don't get any symptoms until it's very late and when it's very late, it's not reversible. So it's very important to re-educate our patient that why they need to take care of their diabetes well, why they have to take care of their hypertension or high blood pressure well, or why they have to keep their heart in a good shape. And Education goes a long way in that process. So this is my passion, kidney uh, disease, taking care of the kidney and anything related to kidney and uh, I love to do this. I will continue to do it until I can walk.